What's going on guys, Angelo here. Welcome back to another video, or really, welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot new things going on within the coast community. Today, we're gonna to be checking out uh, King's Men's 2025 roller coaster, Rap Terror. This is gonna be a construction update once again. I think this is like number 12 or 13, might be even 14, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's actually, today is August 31st, 2024 at 5.37 p.m. Uh, yes, I'm getting here late. It's actually about to rain, so I'm gonna make this really, really quick. I'm not gonna be here too long because I don't wanna get stuck in the rain because when it rains here at King's Men, it really pours. I looked out the track at the parking lot. There's literally like six pieces left. Like there's legit only six pieces left. After that, they are done. I did see from KD Fanatics, I think yesterday they posted that they have now completed the airtime hill. And after that, I mean, there's, I think there's like one last inversion and the ride is done. Like that's it. They are gonna have a near miss element on this ride. They're gonna have multiple near miss elements on this ride. So we're gonna head inside the park. As you see, this is the fit for today. This time I'm doing white. I was like, let me wear white. I haven't worn white in a minute. It's a little bit dingy, but I still like wearing this one because it, it works really well. You already know the whole drift and everything at this point, but let's go ahead and head inside the park. And as always walking up to the entrance of this ride, it just looks incredible at this point. I love seeing the turnaround. The paint is really growing on me. For some reason, I just like the way it looks more than, uh, I like this color more than Tumbili for sure. Because of how large the trains are gonna be, that turnaround actually has to be really large because you're on the wing, you're not on the actual track. I'm definitely going to have some extra clips for y'all at the end of this video just so you all can just literally take it in and just watch. Just see it from a different perspective without me even talking. I just want you all to actually see the footage. As we look over the fence here during that first inversion, uh, you can see where it transfers into the uh, S turn. And then after that, you're going to hit that turnaround. Once at that turnaround, they did complete that inversion. And we'll move to the other side of the park in a little bit here so you can see what all they have done. It is pretty insane. Reptilian was also closed, unfortunately, so I couldn't even get my aerial view like I wanted to, but that's okay. This shot right here is coming out of that turnaround. This is where you're going to run into another inversion here, and that's going to be pretty much a near miss also. It is pretty wild seeing how close it is to Flight of Fear. It honestly looks like it's too close to Flight of Fear, but it's not, I like how low to the ground, honestly, the coaster is, even though it's really not a terrain coaster, uh, it's really cool how close it gets to the ground for it to be a wing coaster. So as you can see, they now have the airtime hill completed, and that is the last inversion. Over there, they haven't finished it all the way, but the inversion is almost complete. In fact, that is the final piece of the track. After that last inversion, they will literally only have a few pieces of track left, and then they will have track completion. It's Pretty insane that they've gotten that done within less than three months. And then you see other rides like Top Throw 2 with all the issues they're having. Georgia Surfer, as well as the Flash, Vertical Velocity at Six Flags Great Adventure. Those rides haven't even started testing. And the ride's actually complete. It's pretty wild. But the Airtime Hill looks sick. Like I said, there are going to be a couple of near-miss elements on here. The station or the extended shed for, I think, the launch or the electrical for the launch that is almost done as well. As you see, they have to add some roofing and the siding to it, but that's almost done as well. Things are looking really good. I'm excited to see what this looks like uh, this Saturday. The airtime hill looks like it's gonna have some pretty solid airtime. I've never really experienced an airtime hill like that on a wing coaster, so I'm really intrigued on how the airtime is gonna hit, especially with those best restraints. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna let you all watch the rest of the video for yourself over some music and just really enjoy it because I had a lot of angles this time. I took my time really filming and I just want you all to enjoy it. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And until next time, peace out.